Thank you all of you for joining me at this virtual Informatica Summit. My name is Harish Ramchandraya and I work for Sunrun. I lead a team uh, focused on data engineering, analytics, and strategy. Uh, today, what I'm going to do is talk to you about how we went about modernizing our existing on-premise legacy platform into the cloud native, and then talk to you about some of the best practice at Sunrun, what we've gained so far, uh, share with you the reference architecture, double click on Informatica and, and share some of the benefits what we've garnered along the way and uh, wrap it up with, uh, you know, Beyond BI Foundation, uh, how we are going about tackling the AI and ML initiatives at Sunrun. So with that said, um, just a quick background on Sunrun. Sunrun has uh, pioneered in solar as a service and since then has offered a number of products offering, the latest being battery um, in terms of the storage. Um, our mission is to create a planet run by sun. Um, we started this journey two to three years back. It was important for us to be cost-effective from an operational standpoint. And, 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 and uh, from a BI team standpoint, it was important for us to be in close proximity with the business and, and so that we are in a position to enable of the analytical capabilities for them to to make those decisions or change with the changing strategies as you can see and uh, in other words for the bi we had to reduce the dev cycle significantly in order to develop deploy and be able to refresh the information as quickly as possible so 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 time to market was critical and the other opportunity what we thought from a cloud standpoint was to establish a agnostic solution in the cloud uh, from from an application stack standpoint and be able to bring in data sets from number of uh, uh, areas or data sets and uh, uh, so 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 that that was one uh, opportunity for us to enable that but at the same time not just focus on just bringing in the data sets in in terms of pipelines but but also establish the business rules along with it. So as and when the execs are in their QBRs or MBRs, they're looking at exactly the same set of metrics, uh, KPIs, and something which they've agreed upon ahead of time. And uh, so so we, we thought uh, that that was a great uh, um, uh, thing to overcome with, with this initiative. And, and then along the way, um, certainly the, the managed services, which we love it, and for those of us who've been in the in the in the on-premise environments, it is such a cumbersome process. And so, to be able to build a cloud-native uh, app stack and and be able to um, scale it up uh, on demand was a great opportunity for us to 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 take advantage. Uh, what it essentially provided was to to ingest pipelines. Uh, on the fly uh, in terms of increasing the volumes, increasing the number of folks who go on board uh, um, uh, from a reporting standpoint or from a data standpoint. And uh, the the other aspects of it was the cost aspect of it, which, you know, most of us oversee it, but for us, you know, it was important for us not to get locked in or at least be predictable about, you know, what are the kind of transactions people are running and, uh, you know, uh, right to the pennies, right? And of course, today we don't charge back to the business, uh, but I'm sure if, if there's a day which comes, we, we, we are in a position to share this information and I'm sure they will be willing to invest uh, back into these environments. And, and finally, of course, the security aspects, which is pretty critical. Uh, there are a number of initiatives in this area in terms of encryption, decryption, and, and compliance related, uh, which we plan to roll it out in the next two to three months. So with that uh, journey uh, in, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, helping us move towards the uh, the cloud, uh, uh, what we did was we, 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 we did not do kind of a lift and shift uh, for very uh, reasons and we strongly believe in, in, in doing so. And uh, uh, the other aspects was uh, we, we undertook a kind of a POC uh, mindset, you know, where we, retooled ourselves as well as um, uh, looked into various offerings out there and and then uh, engaged with the partners and the products and and um, 
uh, establish a working model in order to for us to move forward with this initiative. And with with that said, I must uh, uh, report back that we we are hundred percent their cloud. Uh, we took close to a year and a half to to migrate there, and the uh, and the final uh, five to ten percent got wrapped up around twenty nineteen, and so uh, that's where we are. And with, with that said, um, I will quickly get into the reference architecture. What we are following at uh, Sunrun. This is how the current uh, reference architecture looks like. Uh, if you look at the left-hand side, there are a number of uh, environments, both uh, on-premise to cloud native to REST API, as well as uh, bare bones of CSV file. And uh, the data could be coming from various environments. Uh, it could be a solar panel related information or um, a market campaign, uh, which we've launched. It could be uh, sales related, call center related as well as project related information coming out of salesforce uh, but but more importantly the the oracle environments uh, which we have from an erp standpoint what we've done is we've taken the legacy uh, pre-built adapters pre-built uh, etls and engineered that uh, more like an elt process to to take it to the cloud and um, and we've taken advantage of uh, what the cloud would offer uh, and, and so, so as the data makes its way into Data Lake and then uh, to the BigQuery, uh, we use a variety of tools to to do some of those transformation, uh, kind of a push down approach, uh, whether it's data proc, data flow, and, and as well as um, um, Python. But the most uh, prominent uh, what we use is Informatica IIS uh, in, in to undertake those uh, activities. And, and then that, that uh, helps us to uh, bring in those aggregations or transformation to a final derived table or kind of a second step process in order to start exposing it from a reporting standpoint. And Looker being the most uh, popular one at uh, Sunrun. And, uh, and so we, we, we also tap into the backend uh, since it's uh, authoritative data for the data scientists uh, to uh, Data Lake as well as the BigQuery to answer some of those hard questions. Uh, there are some uh, in-house built-in orchestration and uh, uh, monitoring tools. We also have Airflow in order to schedule these uh, uh, jobs. So um, the other part is, uh, it, this is not only the inbound, but, but also the outbound, which we use uh, to push data. 90% of our data sets go to Anaplan from a financial planning, as well as number of other environments and, and so if you double click these uh, pipelines, uh, it, we are close to 600 odd pipelines and, and we could accomplish this uh, in, in the span of a uh, year and a half. And uh, the other point is we, we used to run these jobs close to 24 hours a day and then we scaled it down to eight hours and now it is close to an hour uh, kind of uh, refresh cycle and, uh, and it is up and running. Uh, without any much of challenges on our environment. With, with that said, uh, I, I just wanted to highlight how, how do we manage this, right? I mean, if you see these three environments, uh, uh, dev pro, uh, as well as uh, QA environments, uh, so we, we have built in certain auto reconciliation uh, process in place to reconcile the source system as well as the target environments, not, not only from a metadata standpoint, from a uh, record standpoints as well as some of the values embedded within that and, and so what you see here is the QA obviously is out of sync uh, there's not much of testing going on and then um, dev is work in progress and the production is in kind of a, uh, a spick and span or uh, is in a good shape to to make sure that we meet our SLAs. So there are a number of takeaways uh, especially from a pipeline standpoint uh, uh, how we did it at Sunrun was we, we took advantage of the tools capabilities, right? In terms of portability, in terms of uh, multi-cloud uh, approach, but more importantly, the, the simplified uh, approach in terms of data synchronization or replication of those data sets, uh, taking advantage of mapping, metadata, and so on and so forth. Uh, the other important aspects, at least from Sunrun's perspective, was uh, the the delta mechanism, the way it handles between the cloud storage to the BigQuery, you know, it handles pretty smoothly. 
Uh, we don't have to lose sleep over it, but but uh, the, the, it's, it's a fairly well uh, uh, done uh, process. Then the other key things were obviously the build versus buy, where you know we can certainly engineer these things, uh, hand code it, uh, but uh, you know that's not our core competency. We we would rather have kind of a simple five step process, get this up and running. And there is no way we could have scaled to this extent uh, to establish like 600 art pipelines within a span of a year or a year and a half uh, uh, in order to accomplish what we've done so far. And and more importantly, standardizing these uh, pipelines, right? If there are issues, challenges, as I have highlighted, you should have anybody within the team to go and surgically resolve those issues and come back and not lose sleep over it. And, and of course, uh, take advantage of number of APIs uh, it, uh, it provides, uh, pre-built connectors and so on and so forth. And uh, the the final point which I wanted to make was, uh, you know, the 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 dev cycle of the business uh, expectations is the, um, the key for us to shorten the, uh, the the development effort. And if you really break it down, uh, two things stands out: the data model as well as the ETO and uh, we, we gained significantly close to 75% if not more to reduce the the timeline in order to turn around and, and you're looking at uh, literally days or weeks in order to turn around a particular project. Uh, um, you know, obviously we've taken uh, full advantage of the um, cloud architecture. So finally, um, to wrap up, you know, uh, in terms of the next steps at uh, Sunrun, um, what we plan to do is to to establish a good lineage between source system to the reporting layer in terms of cataloging it, uh, establish much more governance uh, model for the data sta standpoint, and to take on uh, the ML and AI initiative. Having uh, a strong BI foundation would certainly help us uh, march towards that in uh, areas like automating the uh, rooftop design, uh, product and pricing, uh, focus on the sales initiatives, and, and then move towards embedded analytics and uh, fulfill some of the untapped un, uh, areas in supply chain and procurement. So with that said, uh, I hope uh, you have some takeaways from this presentation and then uh, um, you know, consider Informatica as one of your prospects too. Um, and uh, thank you again. Thank you.